Well, the evacuation plan and the potassium oxide issue. Potassium uh, could, iodide. Uh, potassium iodide, yes. Can you tell me uh, something about that? Because I know that uh, people who are near nuclear power plants are supposed to be given this. Yeah, it's, um, <clears throat> it doesn't protect you from all the radiation, but it does protect you from the radioactive iodine if you take the pill. Uh, in Japan, they had the pills available in the town halls but the procedures required that they be released by the national government. And the national government didn't release them for eight days. So the pills sat while people were being exposed to the radioactive iodine before they were released. And it's another example of shame on the government. Um, so there's a lot of children showing up now with enlarged thyroids and thyroid damage. And now that the government has decided, well, most of them are OK, so we're going to check once a year. And it's just terrible, terrible. They're just not looking at these kids. They're not doing what needs to be done to protect them at all. And the NRC in America for the longest time said potassium iodide wasn't uh, necessary to have pre-mobilized because it would give people a bad impression of nuclear power. And this is our regulator was, that was, had taken the position that um, the, 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 imp the bad impression was more important than the health effects from a potential accident. Tell me about what you know, something about the evacuation plans for some of the nuclear power plants here in the Northeast. Uh, well, let's look at uh, Pilgrim. There's probably, the, there's actually two in the Northeast that are bad. Uh, Indian Point, which is only 25 miles away from downtown New York City. And it's in a river valley, and which way will the radiation move, but right down the river valley. Um, and the, but the other one is, is Pilgrim out on Cape Cod. Um, Pilgrim sits at the end of the hook of Cape Cod, and if it were to have an accident, the people on the Cape would have to what's called shelter in place. In other words, your first reaction is to run, but if you're on Cape Cod, you have to run toward the accident to get across the bridges so that the, um, uh, the, the net effect is that the government will, will prevent them from leaving and force them to stay in their homes while the radioactive plume uh, moves over them. And what are the consequences of that? Well, if we look at, you know, uh, at, at Fukushima, we've got uh, serious contamination out to 50 miles. Um, and of course, the Cape is even closer than that. So it, it's, it's entirely likely that people would be um, um, covered by uh, not just radioactive gases, but radioactive particulate as well and be forced to stay in their homes by the government that's supposed to be protecting them. And if we look at Three Mile Island and look at Dr. Steve Wing that Arnie talked about earlier, he is a noted epidemiologist of univers at University of North Carolina. And his studies show, I mean, they're con totally conclusive with public data that shows the cancer rates that increase because of Three Mile Island. And that was right in the path. And you get it on the West Coast, too. The other bad one is, is San Onofre, which has uh, 8 million people within 50 miles. And what's happened is it was a little burg when, when it was built 40 years ago. But it has, you know, population explosion has, has blossomed around that plant. So that um, uh, in the event of a serious accident, it would be impossible to evacuate. And in the event of a serious accident, all of our food is grown there. You know, 8 million people are there. Enormous industries are there it would be trillions of dollars of loss um, in the event of a serious accident at San Onofre.